Hey everyone, Josh here. So if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at RealNerdWork. I'm on there constantly, and I really enjoy talking to you all. So hopefully I'll see you guys there, and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, I'm Josh, and that's Earl. How you doing? And we are back here in the Amazing America's Heroes here in Colleen, Texas. So uh, this week we're going to be talking about a DC team that's not really that well known. They're more kept in the shadows. So Earl, who are the Justice League Dark? When the New 52 started, they decided to go ahead and do a, um, a team with a bunch of magic users. Mm -hmm. uh, you had John Constantine, Zatanna, Deadman, Enchantress, uh, Etrigan. Etrigan. And uh, Swamp Thing as Swamp well Thing sometimes. was yeah. part of it. So they decided to put them together and call them Justice League Dark. Um, so it was just, they, they wanted to do something with magic users since they had just rebooted the universe. Mm -hmm. And uh, all these characters were previously known and had their own books at other times. So it was, uh, it was just something they wanted to put together and see if it stuck. And it lasted for quite a bit. There were even rumors of a movie uh, to be directed by Guillermo del Toro. Which he's still good for that. He's still yep. good for that. And... Um, it lasted well, almost two and a half, three years. Yeah. And there is a uh, animated movie that's coming out this fall, I do believe, mm -hmm. with uh, Matt Ryan, who portrayed John Constantine on NBC's Constantine, as well as Arrow. Yep. He's going to be voicing him. Yep. And so that's keeping him in the loop Yeah. with the character, which uh, there have been rumors going around that CW might pick it up for a second season. Oh, uh, they better. Which That'd would be, be interesting. Nice. Yeah. It just add to their stable of uh, DC shows. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are some of the backgrounds for the uh, characters, for the team members? Zatanna, we'll start with her. Uh, her father was named Zatar, and he was a magician uh, decades ago. And he taught her uh, ways to use magic. And she does magic. She speaks backwards. Which is really cool. And... That allows her to cast these spells. Uh, Swamp Thing is, he's basically an elemental, an earth elemental, and he controls everything that is uh, foliage, grass, trees, yeah. everything like that, everything that's uh, floral. Uh, John Constantine is a, he's a big mess. Yeah. He's a, uh, basically he's a magic practitioner um, who's just a magnet for trouble. All the time. Yeah. And don't be too close to a friend of his because you'll end up dead. One way or another, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Etrigan, he is a demon from hell. And uh, he is trapped. He is basically in the body of a, uh, of a, a practitioner called. named Jason Blood. Yeah. And um, he's also one of the rhyming demons. So when he speaks, it's in rhymes. And I do believe from lore that means, uh, or the rhyme of a demon signifies their status. Yes, certain level. Yeah, so uh, Etrigan's rhyme puts him uh, pretty uh, pretty far top. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have the Enchantress. The Enchantress is possessed uh, basically by this demon, and she has these mystical powers, so basically given to her by the demon. Yeah, and if you guys haven't seen Suicide Squad, she is in Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. That was the Enchantress. Then we have Dead Man, who used to be a uh, trapeze performer. I don't know what it is with DC and circus <laughs> circuses, uh, but he's performing uh, on the trapeze, and he gets shot and killed. Well, then he's used by um, this being named Ramakrishna as a type of Enforcer, kind of like working for God, kind of like the Spectre does, except hmm. the Spectre is like, you know, God's yeah. right hand. Yeah, yeah. Spectre is more spirits of, right. spirit of vengeance. And Dead Man, he can inhabit somebody's body and take it over. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It's a good power. Um, but it also confuses some of the heroes sometimes. Right, because they'll be like, hey, hey, it's me, it's Boston Brand. Uh huh. He still has this huge sense of humor, so. Yeah. So that's a good thing. But uh, all in all, a good cast of characters from the mystic side of the DC Universe, and uh, well worth a read. Yeah, so um, besides New 52, are there any other Justice League Dark ser series or stories that you might recommend? Um, there was one that they crossed over with 
Justice League of America, um, Justice League, and Justice League Dark was called Trinity War. It was really good. It oh, was yeah. War between the different Justice Leagues. Mm -hmm. All right, so hopefully you guys learned a bit more about the uh, team behind the Dark Name. We will see you guys next week for another video. I'm Josh. That's Earl. Bye. Take care.